Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions. Today, as we continue with your grade 11 Euclidean geometry, we are looking at a theorem 8, which says two tangents drawn from the same point outside a circle are equal in length. So, just like we've been doing with other theorems, let's look at the statement here. So the statement for this theorem says, if two tangents are drawn from the same point outside a circle, then they are equal in length. I will repeat it. If two tangents are, are drawn from the same point, are drawn from the same point uh, sorry uh, drawn from the same point outside a circle outside a circle right outside a circle then they are equal then they are equal in length then they are equal in length. Then they are equal in length. Okay. Then they are equal in length. So, um, the key words here that we also noting here is the word tangent. We are noting the word tangent. Remember, a tangent is a line that touches the circle only once right is a line that touches the circle only once okay okay now when we use this theorem the how we give our reason will be tangent from the same point so we can say tangent from the same there are many ways okay tangents from the same point equal it's okay even if you say tangents from the same point it's also okay or whether you say tangents from the same points are equal it's, it's okay but you can also shorten it and say tangents from the same point okay so here we are required to prove that AP is equal to BP okay we are required to prove that AP is equal to BP okay so given a diagram like this everything is given here however some of the things you will need to know okay now let's prove that AP is equal to BP so our proof we will say Let's try the two triangles. In triangle AOP and triangle BOP. Okay? So in triangle AOP and triangle BOP. What do we say? Something that you should know is that O here is the center of the circle. Right? We are given that A is the center of the circle, rather O is the center of the circle. Now, if O is the center of the circle, this means OA is the radius and OB is also a radius. Again, as you can see in these two triangles, OP is a common side, right? So let's start there. OP equals OP. What's the reason? It is a common side right it is a common side again we said OA is equal to OB what was the reason we said they are equal radii right they are equal radii now there's something that you know about the angle here the angle between the tangent and the radius you know that tangent is perpendicular to radius. 
right? So if tangent is perpendicular to radius, that means there's a 90 degrees, okay? So in other words, angle OAP is 90 degrees. So angle OAP, <clears throat> I said an angle OAP in the same way, angle OBP is also equal to 90 degrees. So angle OAP is equal to angle OBP, they are equal to 90 degrees. What is the reason? Tangent is perpendicular to radius. Okay, it is known that tangent is perpendicular to radius. Okay, now having said this, I want you to look at this carefully. If this is your 90 degrees, and this is some side given, and this side is opposite 90 degrees, what does it mean about this side? It is opposite the 90 degrees. So it makes OP what? A hypotenuse. So we can therefore say, ah, therefore triangle AOP is, equal, is congruent, by the way, not equal, is congruent to triangle BOP. What's the reason? The reason is the right angle, hypotenuse, and a side. Now, since we said triangle AOP is congruent to triangle BOP, we can therefore say, mm, therefore, AP, you are equal to BP. Okay? Remember, guys, when we talk congruency, we say corresponding sides are equal, corresponding angles are equal. Let's see, AP is equal to BP. Let's confirm if they are corresponding. AP. Oh, okay. Remember, there was a 90 degrees, so this is where the, the 90 degrees is footed. Okay. Ah, even on BP. Ah, okay. Cool. We are done. And we have proved the theorem. With that being said, it's a wrap and see you next time. Therefore, bye-bye.